Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for Black Butler, Chapter 154. I know this is a week late, but that's just what happens when I'm at TIP, because I'm always busy, you know. Um, anyway, when we last left our heroes, um, so Mei Rin, and after we saw Mei Rin and Ron Mao at the manor, we've had a quick flashback, our chapter-long flashback of what exactly Team, Real, Team RCL was doing now, as they're investigating uh, four places, they think maybe the sources for um, uh, Real CL's blood transfusions, um, and that's just where May Rin and Ron Mao ended up. Uh, the Heathfield Manor, I think it's called. Uh, so yeah, let's jump right on into Chapter 154, The Butler Far Away. Have a picture of uh, Ron Mao and May Rin getting dressed and like putting corsets on. Chastity worth falling for. So I'm just going to jump right in. I uh, mentioned that uh, I've heard some pretty nasty things about this chapter, so I'm going to put a quick content warning for, I think, feet? Feet fetishists? Something like that? I don't know. Not read the chapter itself, so I can't say for sure. So let's jump right on in. Be open on the maids uh, all getting ready for uh, work. Say, does anyone have any face power powder? Will Mrs. Abby be angry if I use lip color? You should only darken your eyebrows. You're wearing quite a fancy pair of stockings. Kia! Uh, and Mayrin and Ron Mao are like looking on, um, confused. What's going on here, what is? Why is everyone suddenly putting on makeup? Ah, uh, Master returned from Parliament last night. And Mayrin is suddenly all serious. Baron Heathfield has returned home. But won't Master be offended if he sees his maids wearing makeup, won't he? Not here. New hires stand in the front row and greet Master. Eh? Servants of this manor greet the family? We should never raise our, we, we should never raise our heads in front of them, we shouldn't. Furthermore, the housemaids will line up in front of the senior servants. Uh, and I think Jane is her name, kinda of like glint has a glint in her eye and looks at um at May Rin. I told you, our master is slightly eccentric. Um, we cut to his arrival as all of the of the maids like stand fully erect. Good morning. Has, it, has anything happened while I was away? Uh, and I'm guessing she's the head of housekeeping. We hired four new maids. Good morning, master. Uh, and he walks up to the four new maids, specifically Mei Rin and Ron now. Oh, you are the new maids? Allow me to take a good look at you. I, 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 I'm Mei. I'm Ron. I'm Miranda. I'm Annie. Uh, and he still looks at all of them. And he turns to Annie. I look forward to having you work here. Tell Abby you should you require anything. Y yes. Uh, he looks right past uh, Mayrin and Ron Mao, who both look after him. Now then, let me have a good look at all of you. Uh, and he walks past. I now understand why everyone was so excited to see Master I do. Right? He's such a fine gentleman, and he's still a bachelor. Allow me to take a good look at you. I can't help but expect something to happen. Uh, and Jane kind of like laughs at them. A noble falling for one of his maids? This isn't a romance novel. You see, at this... Or the, no, that might be Annie, I think. Um, no, no, the, face, the facial expression doesn't really seem like Annie. But she doesn't seem to be as knowledge... Because we have a, a person who responds in this manner that might not just be a dream. Um, so if it seemed like this person is less knowledgeable than uh, the one who says that. So that's probably not Jane, it's just some other maid. I don't know. Eh? Huh? I know. Master summons a maid to his bedroom every night. Eh, is that really so, is that? Yes, really. A girl I shared a room with slipped out at night many times. Eh, uh, and what happened then, what did? She was his favorite for some time, but she suddenly left one day. Ooh, they, that person, she died. She got, like, her blood sucked out and then died. She probably got, staying, got uncomfortable staying here after Master got bored with her and returned home. Uh, and Mayrin looks, does not believe that. But that will not happen to me. I will attain the status of his wife. You becoming Baroness? That'll never happen. Though you can keep dreaming. What? Uh, and we see the, like, jangling, uh, keys and scissors. Uh, oh, that's the, the head, head maid. All of you, I can hear you upstairs. Stop chattering and return to your duties. Have you finished cleaning the drawing room? Yes, right away. Uh, will the new maids stay behind? And the four of them stop. Hmm? You must always look presentable. Now the master has returned. Cuffs and detachable collars are easily soiled. 
So I inspect them every day to make sure they're spotless. It's hard to tell when I should wash my cups. Cuffs. And they don't dry fast in wintertime. No, they don't, no. Uh, and Abby looks at her cups and like rustles them. Oh! Oh, there's a sheet of paper in there that's presumably telling her to come uh, to the mass to uh, Heathfield's office. Annie, is something wrong? Is it? No, not at all. And she looks at the, at the little slip of paper, uh, and May Ring gets a good look at it. If you so wish, come to the rear room on the third floor of the West Wing at 10 p.m. tonight. Chris Heathfield. On um, that night, um, they're in the maid's quarters, May Ring and Ron Mao. You stand by here, Ron Mao, you do. If anyone comes, tell them I'm already asleep. I will. See you later. And May Ring goes out to investigate. Did she really understand what I said? And she's like wandering through the house all dark. So lights out really is at 10 p.m. Uh, and she continues investigating, enters the hallway, and we see this like image of, uh, of flowers. And she, hears, she sees the light on in the room. She peeks her head in. Ah, uh, Master. Annie, yield yourself to me. I want to see your naked soul. Oh, God. Here it comes. Here's the NSFW shit. Do not be afraid. He's, like, got his hand on her ass. We can see her cor- She's, like, not wearing her dress. She is wearing her corset, though. No, no you mustn't. Uh, and she's blindfolded, all creepy-like. Not fair, master. Ah, ah, ah. I taught you to call me Kristen here. Uh, we have... He, like, spanks her ass. We have... There's, there's the feet imagery. The foot reflected clearly in Mayrin's eye. Um, and as she watches, she's grabbed from behind by someone. As uh, Ron now just already fallen asleep. To be continued. Um, so that was not half as bad as I thought it would be. That was like a single like page or two. Uh, which, that could have been all like... And there's only the one shot of the foot, which is still a little weird. Um... But like, I thought that it would be, like, the whole chapter is just, like, a foot-based sex scene. Like, that one uh, ghoul chapter, except with more feet. Um, but, yeah, this wasn't that bad a chapter. Um, I mean, it still has all the problems Black Butler has had for years now. Very little plot development. Um, uh, lack of page count. You know, it, it, it is a Butler chapter. Yeah, that's just how it goes nowadays. Um... But, like, it wasn't bad. It was decent. Um, it's a far cry from Butler's best. Uh, but, you know, we're all kind of used to that at this point. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. So, May- Mayrin has been caught, though. So, that, that does kind of throw the whole thing up in the air. Uh, what's going to happen with Heathfield Manor nowadays? Um... Now that now that Mayrin's been caught, and presumably Ron Mao will be soon to follow, given that they came in to, uh, together. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It, it's not a whole lot happening. Not as bad as I thought it would be, so that's a plus in my book. So I'm going to leave this video off here. Hope you all enjoyed the chapter and the video itself. If you did, feel free to give me a like or subscribe or, you know, do whatever makes you happy, you know? And remember, your life is your own, okay? Bye.